Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and in today's little dev update we are going to talk about the current progress in the open beta and what is coming next. So uh, as you um, probably see from the length of the video, this is indeed a little dev update and that is because I just give you a quick update on the current open beta. We just released uh, the third version of it and there are plenty and plenty of fixes that you uh, should check out. If you haven't checked out the open beta just yet, I would recommend you do so. Uh, as now the most, uh, the worst offenders of the crash bugs have been sorted out. There sure are a few more, I just ran into a few myself. And uh, we are working on fixing all of these before we uh, consider a public release or pushing this to the public branch. Once we do that, once we push it to the public branch, uh, the um, key engine version will remain. It will not go away. So you will be able to continue your old games and um, continue the, playing the light campaign as long as it's not um, in the game just yet. But yeah, there are plenty of uh, little and big things still missing and going wrong, like uh, Turbo Sun's missing. Oh, you can already see it there. It's not, uh, well, uh, headlights missing after <laughs> after you, you try to... Oh, now they are completely missing. Okay, yeah. Fixtures um, behaving weirdly and rear engine cars sometimes not calculating right and all, all that kind of stuff. We are aware of most of these issues um, and we would really like you to continue reporting bugs, especially crash bugs, via the error reporting tool. We actually do get the emails. Every time you report that stuff, we get an email sent to our Bugsplats account and then we see um, similar bugs grouped together and so on. It's really helpful actually. And that allows us to uh, prioritize uh, what kinds of uh, bugs we are uh, looking at first. So uh, what is coming up then? Well, I think these two weeks have been pretty successful in uh, getting this version polished up. Uh, still a little way to go. I would think like another week, another one and a half week uh, weeks until we are at a place where we consider it um, fully playable and then would push it to the to the public branch. Um, there are of course the uh, few things missing still which I mentioned and that is by far not not all of them. Also for instance test tracks and the choice of test tracks is coming back and they should be compatible with the uh, old stuff so you can use the uh, existing community created tracks and so on and uh, yeah just in, in general there are quite a few more issues with uh, the unit selection uh, when you are switching over to Imperial units that you get some messed up stuff. All that is um, known to us and we will figure it out and solve it. But there's one little thing I wanted to talk to you about real quick. Uh, we are currently um, thinking about revamping the brakes a little bit because they are not, uh, not really playing the way we want to. Usually the situation is, especially with modern cars, that rear brakes don't have to be very strong while the front brakes are in dire need to be strong. And it is very difficult to get rid of brake fade while um, having the rear brakes at a power level which is appropriate. So what we are going to do here in order to remedy that is that we are going to get rid of one pad type slider because there are not really any car examples in the real world which have uh, different pads front and rear. Um, but rather each brake will still have its size and there will be one pad slider and then we will have a brake balance slider where uh, the topmost position is what you have currently in the game which makes uh, your old cars, or old in quotations, uh, compatible with the, uh, the updated version. And the lowest position would be a, a vastly tuned down rear brake and a slightly tuned up front brake. And that should allow you to um, just in general put bigger brake discs on it and uh, yeah, get rid of the fade uh, appropriately for an additional cost of course. 
I hope you're enjoying the open beta so far. It has been a rather productive two weeks or so, and we are looking forward to starting to implement the light campaign V3, which will be the next thing we are working on as soon as we have polished up um, this version for public release, the current one, that is. And uh, we are going to not go back to the V2 version um, in the Unreal version, but rather uh, we are directly going for an improved light campaign from there with a uh, lot of underlying calculations improved and being more realistic. I think that was all already, so uh, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time!